So out here taking a look at a comparison of bud break times. Uh, so we're just gonna kinda go back and forth between some cultivars here just so you can kinda see the relative bud break. Right now we're at front, and or uh, excuse me, Marquette. We're at Marquette right now. And you know, we basically have, uh, have three unfolded leaves there. And you can see, looks like for the most part, these shoots all have three clusters on them. And it's pretty consistent, this, this shoot length so far. So we're gonna go compare this to some other cultivars so you can see the, the uh, wide range in bud break. So now we're looking at Frontenac um, at the, on the same day. If you compare that to the Marquette, you can definitely see we are a little bit farther behind. Uh, now the, the shoots also have some different shapes and, and so forth, but we have a, a bit wider range in terms of bud break. Some maybe have a couple leaves out and some of these buds are, are just starting to pop. And so definitely a later bud break uh, cultivar as compared to, to the uh, Marquette. Now we are looking at some St. Croix. And St. Croix is a cultivar that's really easy to identify early in the spring because of the uh, bright red clusters. And you can see we're well behind the uh, Marquette vines that are just a few rows down. In fact, if you look in the background, you can maybe see a lot more green leaves and those Marquette vines back there. But um, taking a look at these, definitely a little bit farther behind. So now we're taking a look at La Crescent. And it's probably somewhere in between the Marquette and say if we group the Frontenac and St. Croix together, we definitely have some flattened leaves. Maybe not to the point that the uh, Marquette is out at yet, but definitely an early bud break cultivar, one that we do have concerns about with where we put it because of that. And lastly, we have our uh, Brianna vines here. And we can see that they have a couple flat leaves. So uh, again, probably somewhere between, you know, Marquette and La Crescent being a little bit earlier on average bud break, then maybe Brianna in this instance. And then if we group uh, St. Croix and then maybe Frontenac after that, we can see that there is some difference.